Hey guys, I'm heading to a uh, somewhat of a gun show perfect storm today. We have three gun shows that I'm heading to, all within a three hour drive from my home. Uh, the first one is an hour away, and then the second two are in the same city that are each two hours from the first show. So I got about a six hour round trip today, but I think it's definitely worth it going to three shows. Um, I've driven further than six hours round trip before just to get to a single show that I thought was good. Um, it looks like two of the shows are just kind of standard gun shows. Just, you know, you're going to have all the typical, you know, stuff at the shows. One of them uh, is an actual, like, military, uh, like, Milserp show, which I kind of have my fingers crossed on that one. Uh, those shows typically tend to be a lot better than most. Um, they, you know, they sort of bring out the uh, the more, you know, hardcore collectors and of military and Milserp stuff like that. So, so let's go on a gun show adventure. show done with I got out of there about an hour I spent in the show uh, it took a little bit longer to get inside because these these crazy lines uh, first score of the day is these ensign uh, binoculars the case is a little bit rough uh, but the binoculars themselves um, are a little bit rough um, but they're they're pretty nice you can see it's uh, it's stamped with uh, made in occupied Japan uh, 15 bucks you know I had to had to do it Let's see if I can get this in frame uh, this is a this is a 303 this is a this is a 303 Vickers can um, for uh, 250 rounds I believe of a good old 303 M7 ball to uh, you know feed the Vickers machine gun. I got this can for $25. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, unfortunately, it's empty. There's no ammo in it. Um, but it's just a really cool, nice old ammo can. I just really like finding stuff like this. The last thing I got, I can't show you because I'm a Missouri resident. I'm here in Kansas, but I found a Colt 1903 that is nickel plated. It's the original factory nickel, I believe. And uh, that thing was only $300. I could not believe it. Um, he had another one that was blued for $650. Uh, so finding this one for, for $300, I, I just looked at it. I'm like, you know, what's what's wrong with it? And I, I couldn't find anything that's wrong with it. So, I mean, 300 bucks, I feel like that's a pretty safe bet for a Colt 1903, you know, like an original one. So scored that, I got some pictures of it, but that will be going to my FFL. I'll pick that up in the future. Now I got a two hour drive going to the next show. This is going to be a long day. All right, just left the military show. Got some pretty good stuff at that show. Uh, this is the uh, oh shoot, I forgot the forgot the name of this belt, but this is uh, it's dated 1910. It's a Mills uh, cartridge belt. Um, this is the neat one that's made for the 1903. Um, so it's got the little individual dividers. Uh, it's an original. It's an original World War One ammo belt. You know, uh, 1910 dated. Pretty sweet, uh, 40 bucks. Got this little Mauser sling for 10 bucks. This is an, I think this is an Iraqi flag. Uh, I'm not sure, it's pretty cool. It's nice condition, double-sided and everything. Um, this is a vet bring back. I got this for 20 bucks. And last but not least, this is kind of hard to show in frame, uh, but this is like a complete uniform. This is the, uh, the jacket and the pants. It's 32R, I think this is the first armor division patch. It's a, it's a sergeant's uniform, so this is a, uh, uh, this is 46 dated, so it's post-war, but I think this is a World War II veteran's uniform. Uh, post-war, it's in pretty good shape. $10, I, I kind of had to buy it at 10 bucks. On to the last show. It's three o'clock, only have a couple hours left. Let's head to the last show and see what other treasures I can find. The one I really like, I've got one that's very
Well, uh, I broke my own rule. Uh, my gun show rule of if you find a good deal, don't pass it. Um, I found some 32 ACP ammo. It was a good price. It's kind of like pre-scare price. And, uh, and I walked away. And it, this time it wasn't somebody else buying it. It was that they just, they left. The dealers just left. They, they closed up. Uh, the gun show closes at 5. And uh, I think they just closed up and left at 4. They just put the blankets all over their stuff. Um, so I guess it's their fault for leaving early. But, uh, but it's my fault for not buying it when I found it. But, uh, but other than that, it was a bust, man. The show, I, there's just nothing good there. Funny enough, at this show, they're talking about how this show sucked and they wish that they would have set up at the other show. But at the military show that I was just at, that's in the same town, they were talking about how they wish that they would have set up here. Um, it's funny, this show is, this last one, uh, it's usually the bigger show. This is usually like the biggest show in, in this area. But it was probably the smallest show today, which is so weird. I guess just, you know, everybody in the state just kind of being split up with three shows. Um, it's not like, I mean, it makes sense. There's only so many, you know, gun dealers and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to try and see if I can go back to the second show, the military show, um, before it closes, because this one kind of sucked. So I got here about 4.30. They close at 5, and probably about 80% of the vendors or, or more were gone. Um, there's only a couple guys in there. So, um, but it's cool. Like when you go to a show that's actually, you know, collectors, uh, you know, they care about this stuff. And so me and, me and a couple guys just talked for a while about, you know, German World War II memorabilia, just because, you know, people are actually passionate about it. And, um, you know, it's something like a small military show like this, you know, it might not be super attractive with, you know, low table numbers and stuff like that when you look at it online. But, you know, I'd, I'd recommend checking it out, you know, going to little shows like this, because you can get some pretty cool screaming deals at these shows sometimes. Um, I got some cool things earlier today, nothing like too groundbreaking, um, but still just a lot of neat stuff. I had a good time today. It's a three hour drive back home now, so uh, it's gonna be a long day, but it was a fun day, got some cool stuff. Um, if you guys like videos like this, me vlog style going to gun shows, let me know and I'll do more stuff like this in the future. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.